On this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between cash and cash flow. So when you start a business and you want to earn income on the side, let's say most of you right now, you want to become an entrepreneur, you got to start thinking about these two things. So the first thing is the cash flow. So cash flow, I want you to see that as income creation. So there's things that we can do that produce an income on a regular basis. But the second part of this is what we call the cash, which is, I guess, the wealth. So if you look at the cash flow as the income, the cash is the wealth. So they will say, you know, what is your net worth? Your net worth is basically everything you own, minus your liabilities and what's left is your net worth. When we are creating businesses, we don't just want to always think about making profit and making money every single day. We also want to think about the assets. We also want to think about the wealth creation. We also want to think about what grows in value of time. For example, I myself have bought a lot of properties. So I buy properties and I rent them out and I just kind of leave the capital appreciation. So that is what we call a wealth creation strategy. Whereas a cash flow creating strategy would be to buy a property and then to rent that property out and every single month that makes money. So for example, let's say I have a property for, that's the mortgage is a thousand pounds. And, but let's say I can rent it for 2000 pounds. I'm making a thousand every single month without having to do much. And, you know, I maybe take 10% of that, pay that to the agents for the management fee. And then I just have the money coming in. And there's two things you can do as well. So let's say you're doing a cash flow strategy in the UK. We have something called a buy to let mortgage where you can just basically pay the interest. That's a good strategy if you want cash flow. But if you want to create more wealth, let's say you don't you don't have that many assets and you want to create more assets, then what you want to do is have some properties that are paying off. So maybe you well, let, let's say you have 10 houses. You might have five of these properties that are on interest only and the other five on say a repayment. So you're paying off. So let's say, for example, someone's renting that property and say for 20 years, after 20 years, all of those properties will be paid off. And you know, now you're gonna have a lot of equity in there. So when we are creating wealth in our life, you want to think about equity. Equity. How can we create more equity? So in business, now right now, as a lot of you know, I have a company that is listed on the stock exchange. So we did our first IPO and it's, we have a publicly listed company. Instead of just making money all the time for the company, we also want to create value in that company. For example, brand. So a lot of you are my shareholders, you see me putting a lot of videos. You see me putting a lot of you know, collaboration deals and doing joint ventures with people to grow that brand. You see us doing a lot of like marketing strategies to actually reach the right people. So now we're creating value, we're creating systems. One of my companies, we created a software for that company and people that use that software, they are paying money every single month. That's what we call a SaaS. A SaaS is when people pay monthly subscription for a software. Okay. So when you have a SaaS, you have something called a high evaluation or what we call the ARR, which is the annual recurring revenue. Let's say you have a SaaS and it makes say 10,000 a year. By having a SaaS, you have a higher, typically what you have is a higher multiple, not always, but typically that's what you have. So that would be an example of a well wealth creation to grow the share price in stock, for example. You got to think about when you are creating a business, are you creating it for cash flow or are you creating it for wealth creation? So two of these things both go hand in hand. There's a saying that says cash flow is king, so cash must be Kong, <laughs> like King Kong, right? I know it's a lame job, but, but I want you to remember King Kong. But if you start a business, remember King Kong. Kong. All right. So I hope you found this useful. And by the way, if you found this useful, do me a favor, hit that like button right now, because what it'll do is it'll tell YouTube that it, it will show you more of my videos that it will, so you don't miss any of them. And if you definitely don't want to miss any of them, also hit the subscribe button right now and turn on the bell notification. So I upload videos on a regular basis. You'll get to see a lot of my videos that I make. And also if you have any questions, like what strategies do you use to create cash and also, oh, oh, what cash? What strategies do you use to create King Kong? Right, I'll use King Kong as a cash and also wealth creation. Leave a comment below, and um, I'd love to hear from your strategies as well. And also, um, thank you so much for watching. This is my name is John Lee, the author of Business Hack. I'll see you next video. Bye.